What up, you lab rats? This is a random kind of uh, update. I'm on the screen flow, and I, I want to show you guys uh, the redesign and why I redesigned uh, getting the lab.me, the main site of the show. And this will also be kind of a semi slash review of the X theme for WordPress, which I bought in uh, Envato which is a very popular place to buy WordPress themes. And so, yeah, let's just go through it. So y'all know that there's gonna be an update happening uh, with Google. If you didn't know, if your site is not mobile ready by April 21st of this year, that they're going to dock you in your page rank or something like that, okay? So with that in mind, uh, I really wanted to update the site and make it really mobile friendly where everything just looked clean and simple and things were accessible. Uh, we're also working on the speed of the site because the, 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 this, this blog is getting quite a bit of content packed into it and I don't want things to be slow. So let's go through it and we'll take you through this theme and, and uh, my thoughts on this theme and <clears throat> why the redesign. So get in the lab. Um, I've been struggling to find a theme that really fits the blog and because it's a content centric sort of blog and that it's all about the lab rats, it's all about you guys. Uh, there's nothing that I really sell on this thing. So it's really all about inviting the user to click through. And I think this theme, which is called ethos, and this is the main theme within the X theme. So the X theme, which I'll show you, X theme. Uh, we'll go to theme forest. Oh, it's in theme forest, sorry. Same thing, right? Envato, yeah. Okay, so go to learn more. And the X theme uh, is really, really fancy because it's got three or four templates. And then within those templates, there are more templates. There's like so many templates. So I chose uh, the ethos theme and the main demo of that. And I uploaded that. And the reason why I used that theme was because it invites the user to click around and to see all the content that we have. Uh, at the same time still has for me like a sidebar and it's more magazine style type of blog, right? So that's why I chose that. And so if you're ever wondering, you know, what kind of theme should I pick? Well, you got to think about what the content is and what it, what it's actually doing for the user and does it serve them the right way? And before, you know, the old theme was actually a photography based theme. So it really just focused on nice big pictures and well, Pictures are nice, but it's the content that really matters. So I needed something that could show that off uh, appropriately. So a great thing about the X theme is that it has this thing called the front end editor. Bunch of short codes for you to use. Uh, didn't really use too much of them. Layout options are nice and clean. Navigation options. It has already a store in there, which is really nice. Um, yeah, it has this this thing called a front end editor where you can build your pages and see and drag and drop. And I just want to show you guys that. Here are all my posts, here are all my pages. So if we go to the home page, right? You'll find that after you activated all of its short codes and things like that, it'll have this thing called a front end editor. And we're just gonna look at that really quick, but we're not gonna touch anything because you know, 90% of this homepage I built within this front end editor, which is very drag and drop. If I, you know, uh, hover my mouse around certain things, I can start to add things and I can see where everything is laid out. So I like that, right? Cause I'm not a pro or anything. The only thing is, is that this thing is buggy. And so what would happen is that I'd be, you know, playing along, fixing things, adjusting things, refreshing the page to see what it looks like. And then all of a sudden, my home page, which this is named, would be named something else. It would be named like some previous post. And so my home page would be gone. And so there was a moment where I freaked out and I thought I lost all of my work, but for some reason I had so many windows open that uh, I was able to save it. So what they recommend, cause I looked this up in the forum, is that, oh yeah, 
we found out that the front end editor is buggy and that's like a big reason why I bought this damn theme in the first place so that's a big kind of you know red flag that I want people to be aware of it's very uh, you could still easily edit your blog but you can't see what this looks like right here's here's the kind of back end editor this is less buggy um, they say less buggy I haven't had any problem with it but as you can see, you can't really tell. Like this does not look like what I just showed you guys, right? With the drag and drop. So um, a lot more, you know, <laughs> vision has to go into uh, editing your site if you can, if you have to be in here. You know, if you can get away with it, you know, I got away with it for, you know, designing 90% of it in the front end. And then I had to come back in here to make little adjustments to like the last couple things like this part right here. I had to do this in the back end and good thing it was pretty easy. So that's a big red flag for me as far as this theme is concerned. Like uh, other people were complaining about this too. So I hope that they fix that so that, you know, the main reason why people are buying this theme is not completely defunct. Okay. So um, another thing is that it looks fantastic on mobile. Uh, nothing is cut off even with these embeddable um, codes like YouTube. YouTube would always be kind of creeping out or bleeding out uh, when I was using other themes and so I really like that it looks great on mobile. And you know what, we can actually see it here uh, with the visual composer. I won't touch anything, I won't hit update, but we have this little thing here where we can see it in mobile, which is awesome. And so here we go, we could see it right here. This. You know, this picture right here is only cut off because I uploaded this picture a long ass time ago and doesn't fit, but that's fine. Um, everything fits pretty nicely in mobile. Nothing's being cut off. This, it doesn't look like this in my phone, so uh, I don't know what that's about. And uh, yeah, it looks good. So I think I'll be good for the update when Google comes. Um, for the most part, that was my only big complaint with this theme uh, other than that it's fantastic I love how I can really uh, fill the space of this site um, a lot better and I can um, consolidate a lot of my content because I was I had a lot of sites out there and I felt like you know I need just one to focus on and, and make it look the way it does so I'm pretty happy with this I think I'm gonna stick with this for some time unless something updates and you know something doesn't go right but for the most part i like this theme if you can deal with the stress of <laughs> wordpress and you know you know how it is if you diy it um, but this took me about six hours to complete just figuring things out and having to do things over because of that glitch in the system um, and if you're okay with that then i would recommend it but if not and if you don't want to deal with that then don't get it uh, but yeah, so that's my review, kind of review on the X theme. wasn't really comprehensive, but that's just the biggest problem I ran into. So hopefully they fix that. And uh, to remind you guys, if your site is not mobile ready, then it will get dinged. All right. So good things. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave in the comments. I'll see you in there. All right. All right. Peace out. <laughs>